computer won't start, stuck on a black screen spinning dots, or an error that says Windows can't load, don't pay Geek Squad hundreds of dollars for something you can fix yourself. How about no? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to repair Windows boot problems using a simple graphical tool, which is already included on my Ultimate USB. When Windows refuses to boot, most people think their computer is dead. But the truth is, in many cases, the operating system is still fine. Uh, it's just the bootloader that's corrupted. The bootloader is the small piece of software that tells your computer how to start Windows. If that gets damaged, missing, or misconfigured, the system simply doesn't know what to do next. Uh, this can happen after a sudden power loss, a failed Windows update, installing another operating system, or even just random file corruption. Instead of going into a command prompt and typing complicated commands like bootrec fix MBR or rebuild BCD, we can use a much easier graphical program of which there are plenty to choose from on the Ultimate USB version 2.1. If you haven't already checked out this amazing tech Swiss Army knife, the product is tagged here. Now let's dive right into today's demo. Please note that we are intentionally breaking our Windows OS today. If you are following along, please do so with caution and be sure to create a snapshot or system restore point before modifying your system. First, we will boot into one of the many Windows PE environments on the Ultimate USB. This will allow us to modify the boot partition of our installed Windows OS. Trying to do so while the system is booted will likely result in us not being able to modify the files needed as the system will have them locked. Once in the WinPE environment, open a command prompt and be sure it is running as administrator. From here, type dispart. This will enter the dispart utility. Next, run list disk to view the connected disks. If you have more than one disk here, make sure you select the correct one. Once the correct disk is selected, run list volume. From here, we are looking for the small FAT32 partition. It will likely be 50 or 100 megabytes in size. Now type select vol following by that volume number. In my case, it is volume 2. Uh, note that our volume already had a drive letter assigned, but we will assign it again as the letter S for demonstration purposes. We do this by typing assign letter equals S. Uh, now you can type exit to leave the disk part utility and go back to your admin command prompt. Now we will run a couple of commands against the boot partition. I'll show the commands on screen here. This first command removes the system, hidden, and read only flags from the BCD file so we can make changes to it. This next command renames the boot configuration data file to bcd.back, which effectively breaks the bootloader since Windows can't find its startup instructions anymore. This is all we need to do to break the boot process for our Windows OS. Now let's reboot and confirm that this system is unable to boot. As you see, it's pretty wrecked. Even trying the built-in Windows repair by hitting the F1 key does nothing. Not to fear, we have plenty of ammo for issues like this. Pop in that ultimate USB and reboot the system. Tap your boot key as it reboots, and then choose the USB from your boot menu. If you need help with booting from a USB, I have videos on that as well. Now that our USB is loaded, let's head to the WinPE section and select from one of the awesome environments. Most of these listed here could solve our problem. Today, I'll demonstrate using the Sergey Strelek WinPE environment. You can boot the Windows 10 or Windows 11 flavor. Either will do the trick. Once this environment loads up, hit the Start menu and drill into the WinPE applications. You should see a section for BCD editors or boot issues. From here, we have even more to choose from. I'm going to use BCD Boot GUI today. This is a super simple tool that can rebuild the components of the boot partition that we need. Make note that you will need the actual Windows OS volume partition, as well as that small boot partition that we looked at and modified earlier. Uh, if you need the drive letters for these, just crack open disk part again and verify using the same commands of list disk and list vol. Now set the system partition to your Windows volume and the boot partition to the small FAT32 boot partition. Once you are satisfied with your selections, just hit start. Confirm your choices by clicking yes here. It only takes a second and just like that, we have rebuilt the boot partition. Now reboot to confirm that you have in fact fixed your issue.
And voila, just like that, the USB has fixed yet another issue. Uh, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you are following along with the series. The easiest way to do that is hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss any new content. While you're clicking, you might as well tap that thumbs up button. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it really helps the channel.